Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna to show you how to overclock your GPU with MSI Afterburner in 2023. So brand new guide. Uh, it will be very easy. We're not we're not gonna to touch the core voltage, so it will be safe also. Uh, so let's start the guide. So first of all, go to settings. And make sure that you're using a custom uh, fan curve. So you want to enable the user-defined software over there. Uh, it's a little bit more aggressive by default. And also you can change it by yourself. So what you need to look at is first of all, your temperature degrees over there and you have your fan speed. So the goal here is to have better thermals to make sure that you have a, a better OC also, but you don't want too much noise. It really depends on you guys, but normally you don't want to hear your fan spinning at 100% all the time. So adjust a little bit your fan curve uh, to have better thermals after that we're gonna touch first of all the power limit what i recommend is just put your power limit at maximum you will see that your temp limit will uh, follow don't uh, panic it's safe just go like that you don't want to limit your gpu because of the power limit so just go like this after that, the one that you really want to change, it's your core clock in megahertz and your memory clock. What I normally recommend to the people is start with memory clock. Normally you can do more over there and you will need to test and test and retest a lot. So for an example, you just put 56 like this, you apply it and now you want to do a benchmark. So me, I like to use the 3D Mark uh, Speedway benchmark or the Time Spy Extreme, but you can also use free benchmark like the Uni Engine. Make sure that you download the latest version, the Super Position 2017. So the goal here is to run your benchmark. You want to make sure, first of all, is it stable? So no crash and you don't see any artifact, but also at the end, you need to look at your score. So your score should improve all the time. So what I don't really recommend, just go default without any overclocking, do your benchmark, take note of the score. And after that, do your overclocking because sometimes you can have like a stable overclocking, but your score will be lower. So really important. You don't want to lose FPS when you, um, when you overclock. So super important to do that. So for example, you did 56. Now it's stable. Now after that, I don't know, after a 30 minute, you, you did a lot of testing. Normally just go 50 plus 50 plus 50 each time. Reapply it, do some testing. And when you know that your memory clock is now stable. Uh, so for example, you went to 240 or 50. It was crashing, but at 201, uh, 210, sorry. Uh, everything is stable. You can start to touch your core clock. So now